legend, no guts, no glory. We can't die here with no stories. Leave a legacy, don't you worry. We're the ones who wear the crown. We're fighters, breaking out together. Higher off the ground, we rise up singing. We're the ones that built this city. So we're the ones that break it down. Warriors with fearless spirit. One step and there's no way to burn down. this place down. Burn it down to the ground. If you're ready, make a sound so the world can hear you. Coming up now, up the smoke with fear. We're gonna burn this place down. Burn it down to the ground. If you're ready, make a sound so the world can Everyone and welcome to TPO Hello, Esports. Everyone, My name is Loki, and I will be casting tonight. It's a fun and exciting game between uh, it's Inters Together Stronger versus uh, Pictor. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for uh, Pictor's uh, jungle to get online, uh, so we can start draft. So hopefully that will be very soon, or I'll have to kill Melo, and that will be very unfortunate. Um, so. Um, while we're reading, I'm going to run down the, these uh, teams that we have playing tonight. On the side of um, ITS is uh, Gorge Bush in the top lane. We have Zeppa in the jungle. Um, Element of Surprise in mid lane. Uh, Coco Puma in ADC and Boop Boop Cat in support. And we are still waiting for the side of um, Mellow. It will be uh, Ronan Duke in the top lane. Um, I believe it's uh, Menace in the jungle. Marluxi is in mid lane. Gaming Pope is in ADC. And Mellow is in support as soon as they get here. So tonight should be a fun game. This is going to be the first time that I will see... Uh, the Inters Together Stronger play, so I'm very excited for that. Um, I have seen uh, Pictor play a few times, and I do have some faith in this team to bring it back. I know they had a little bit of a rough start as they face some of the stronger teams in the league, so. All right. I'm trying to get Jay in. <laughs> so apparently they're just trying to get Jay in. They're having some technical issues with the client. All right, so unfortunately, it's just me tonight. Um, I'm solo casting, so uh, everyone needs to give me a little bit of a break here. Um, as yes, I am. Uh, I'm doing this alone, so I don't have really anyone to bounce it off of, which is fine. I don't mind it. But let's see what's going on here. Uh, Zeppa, you need to hold your horses, man. Predictions don't even come out till draft starts. Y'all killing me, man. Um, apparently this is taking longer than expected.
<laughs> no, we're not getting some random person in here. That is not going to happen. Um, all right, I am going to take us to a quick break while I figure out what on earth is going on. So just bear with me here and enjoy the fun break music.
We are back after um, some craziness trying to figure out um, the... <laughs> apparently the jungler was not showing up, so um, yes. They had to use an e-sub, so there is three ban losses for uh, Pictor, one for um, ITS. Listen, Major, we're having technical difficulties, man. Technical difficulties, it's fine. We're working it out here. Um. No, let's see. Let me know. Um, Jim's voice is always very calming. <laughs> um, he is a very calm person. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know, he, he's the calmer of the two of us. I am, uh, I am very outspoken and loud, and he is very soft and quiet and understanding, so... <laughs> Very, very, we're two polar opposite people. It's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. But yes, um, Jim is known to have um, the, the, the nicer voice. All right, I am ready for draft. I have no idea what these guys um, are going to ban. Um, I have. I just want an exciting game. I want to see three. Uh, I want to see three games. Um, oh yeah, I need to get them into voice chat. I am. I'm really killing it today. All right, apparently we're just gonna have so many fun things going on today. I'm so excited. Now we're trying to get them into the lobby. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna kill Mellow. So I got this. I'm literally, I'm gonna beat Mellow. Uh, yes, solo cast. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not against, um, solo casting. I don't really mind it. I'm gonna kill Mellow. Did I tell you that? I'm gonna kill Mellow? Yeah. Okay, we should be moving very shortly. Yeah, it's been really fun trying to get everybody in here, so. If these guys don't start this, I swear to God, it's going to time out the lobby.
I'm gonna kill these humans. I'm gonna kill these guys. Alright, bands have started. The first ban on um, the side is Camille for ITS. The second ban is going to be Nidalee. Alright. All right, so uh, ITS picks a, a Graves as their first pick. Um, that's a very solid pick, actually. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what this team brings out. Sorry for the delay, everyone. It's kind of been crazy trying to get people's permissions out and everything. So, all right, so J4 is going to be locked in on the side of Pictor. And followed up by a Kaisa. All right, solid pick. Obviously, I think that's a little biased on my part because I absolutely love Kaisa. Um, and let's see. Oh gosh, please no. So many people. Oh, I would have liked to see a Zoe, actually. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Leona is locked in on the side of uh, ITS. It's just too long to say enters together stronger. <laughs> That's such a long team name, man. Um, all right, so the final pick for ITS is going to be Ash. There's an Ash hover. You know, every time I see Kaisa picked, it's always followed by an Ash for some reason. But Ash is always a solid um, pick, a very strong champion. I think both of these ADCs are very, very strong. Um, so I'll be interested to see what these uh, teams will bring together. Oh God, no Melo, no, no, no. Okay, Set was locked in on the side of Pictor. I have an idea of where this is going. <laughs> And I'm not quite sure uh, how I feel about it. The second round bands um, for Pictor are going to be. Let's see. They have support, jungle, and ADC. Actually, I, I know Graves can be flexed, but a Mordekaiser band does come out on the side of Pictor. Followed by ideas. All right, they banned Katarina. Um, I'm not actually against that. Katarina is a terror to lean against because I am not able to like roll my face across the keyboard. So uh, I don't know how people play Katarina. <laughs> uh, GP is banned on the side of Pictor, which rounds out their bans for game one. And let's see. The last ban for ideas is uh, Darius. Okay. Also, not a bad ban that Darius with that bleed uh, tends to become irritating in the game. So let's see what Pictor decides to uh, pick up for round two. I'm going to beat them. All right, what was the pick here? Mellow, mellow, mellow. All right, so they picked Orn. 
which was the Miss Band, ITS picks up Azir and Yorick. And they round off their picks with Azerith. All right, it looks like uh, Mellow's internet died. All right, uh, we are going in to pick it. Bam. Let's see what is happening here. And why are there no bands? Okay. All right, I am going to get the predictions out. I want to know who do you think is going to take uh, game number one? Is it going to be um, ITS or Pictor? Picture 100%. Okay. You know what? I have to say, like, I'm not against any of the... What are they doing? They're not banning anything that there's... They're not banning what there. Okay, these are very interesting bands. I'm so confused. But all right, we have York in the top lane against an Orn. Yeah, <laughs> enters together stronger. Um, all right, so we've got Jarvan against a Graves, and then <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, I guess we're doing things a little bit differently today. Um, but make sure you get your uh, your predictions out. Get uh, use your channel points, and let's see who is going to take. Game number one, is it going to be Pictor or is it going to be ITS? Now, I honestly like both drafts because I love Ash, I love Kaisa, I love Leona. Um, Mel is trolling uh, like normally, but um, I'm going to go with Pictor for game one. And uh, we'll have to see how this rounds out. So make sure I think the predictions will be up for just a little bit longer. So let's use up those channel points. We're currently at 6K to 1K. <coughs> and in case anyone's wondering, yes, I still do have my coffee from this morning um, that I'm drinking uh, like eight hours later. So, but now we're actually going to go on a quick spectator delay. And by quick, I mean like three minutes, but you know, hey. Um, to get ready for the first game, so please don't go anywhere. Um, I promise we will be back in a timely fashion. Alright, so hang tight, guys. All I do is work, hustle, grind. Hard, I ain't never gonna stop, nah All I do is work, hustle, grind Hard, level up until I drop, yeah Independent grind, got no a and R. They used to tell me I would never make it far But this vivid vision in my head is razor sharp So much weight on my shoulder, I'ma raise the bar Cincinnati flow, watch me crack the code Sick and savage mode, might just catch a cold Count my money up, yup Give me a bag of dough and I'ma bounce out of your seat. Everybody know what comes around goes around Middle fingers up when I feel broken down My ribs are touching, I can hear my stomach growl Make no bones about it
sobbing. I keep it moving cause I got flow Trying to dodge every pothole I'm a rapping version of Picasso Invest everything that I got so I tip in my cheese like nachos Bet on myself and hit the lotto Estoy algo cansado Let's see quiet Everybody know what comes around Goes around Middle fingers up and I feel broken down My ribs are touching I can hear my stomach growl Make no bones about it Welcome back to uh, TPO Esports. Uh, my name's Loki. We're going to uh, have a fun and exciting uh, game here today. As uh, this is game number one of uh, ITS versus Pictor. It looks like we do have a level one cheese invade going uh, down. Uh, Marloxy does get a poke onto uh, Gorge Bush. Uh, we do have a E7. For, I think it's LP Loke. LP Loke, maybe? Um, and there are sad kidney melts going on. It looks like uh, the side of Pictor did your um, standard five point start. Uh, like I said, I've never seen ITS play, so I'm kind of uh, excited to see how uh, they perform here. Uh, York started a uh, corrupting potion. Uh, very interesting. And it looks like both junglers are opting to start on the top side of the map. Typically that means that we are going to see a, uh, they're going to focus more on the bot side of the map. However, We'll have to see how this uh, this game is going to turn out. 
And uh, currently, right now, there um, there is another series going on with uh, New Moon versus Nyx. Um, it's looking to be a pretty tight uh, game going on over there as well. But uh, we do see that the bot lane has uh, started uh, violence here. Um, I believe it's going to be like a slower top side uh, game. Maybe some just wanting to farm, keep it uh, cool. Um, I'm excited to know that the first Drake is going to be Chemtech, which is like my favorite. Uh, I wanted to point out that Mellow has 600,000 mastery points on set. I want everyone to make a note of that as that is a very, it's, it, that's a problem. League players, man. Um, it looks like everyone's uh, fairly uh, even here uh, level wise. Uh, oranges have a slight level onto the Yorick. I'm interested to see. Um, so, Element of Surprise was Oshima. Apparently, there was a name change, and uh, we were not aware of it yet. Um, but uh, they took Azir, which is one of uh, Marluxia's uh, famous champions. So, oh, the Orn knockup just slightly misses, and. Uh, but still getting some serious damage onto this Yorick. Uh, it looks like both junglers are kind of just looking to... Uh, just like clear the jungle camps, they're not ganking right away. Uh, Jarvan is looking for that bot side scuttle uh, to get some uh, vision on the drag. Bot lane seems to be keeping... The bot lane of Pictor seems to be keeping ITS shoved underneath their uh, turret. As, but both uh, both EDCs are able to be fairly even in uh, CS. Uh, and, and as I say, no gang sum. A gang comes in mid and does about half health on to Marloxia. Marloxia is very, very low on mana though. So does need to be careful. I love the name Boop Boop Cat. It's so cute. I like it. Oh, out comes the ghouls. I really should probably learn the, the names of these, uh, of the abilities. It looks like, uh, Pilok is looking for an invade here. An engage, uh, from Jarvan onto Boop Boop Cat. It does chunk them down. Mellow follows up here. Is it enough? And the first blood does go over to this Kaisa. The Ashes, uh, empowered Q does come out. Uh, Mellow's taking some hefty damage. I don't think that you want to stay here, my friend. This is a very, very dangerous game that you're playing. Um, is he able to get out, though? Because Graves is here. And Graves is looking for violence. But all members of Pictor are able to back. That was a crazy fight down bot lane. <laughs> very crazy. Um, but the first kill did go over to the Kaisa, which is not, not bad. You really want to get your ADCs fed early. Uh, Rona Duke is just, uh, that, that knockup just keeps missing just a little bit. Um, I can't imagine that going against the Yorick is very easy. Um, Marluxia is level 6 now, so it does have that alt. Oh, do not go in for that knockup. Um, lots of uh, vision going down as drag is up now. However, Jarvan and Graves are both on the top side of the map. Orn does go over to get some vision onto Graves' jungle. However, it's going to walk right past him. And this is... Um, Orn does have ult, though, if necessary. However, Element of Surprise does come to join the party here and is going to end up taking out Ronan Duke. Uh, a little bit of an overstep there by uh, Ronan as he kind of, like, face-checked the Graves trying to get Vision down. Uh, Graves was able to clear that out fairly quickly. York returns to a lane with Sheen while Orn picks up a... Uh, Ruby Crystal and Tear. 
I'm, I'm wondering what the build is going to be on these two ADCs. I'm fairly particular on my builds, so, um, but have, uh, I mean, I've built both um, Rageblade and uh, the Navori on Kaisa. I opt for more of a Duskblade act, even though they nerfed it, I don't think they nerfed it enough. The Disempowered Q, we can already see what is happening with this here. It's um, it's just able to put out a lot of poke. However, uh, Gaming Pope is doing very well at keeping ACS a lead on the Ash. Uh, that Hawkshot is going to spot out Jarvan, clearing his uh, bot side camps. Uh, fight up in top lane, uh, but again, between uh, Gorge Brooks and Ronan Duke. Marluxia is going to fall to a Zeppa as a gank comes in mid lane. Oh no, Gaming Pope is very, very low after a fight down here in bot lane. Mello is staying very much to get some uh, damage out onto the Leona and is taking tower shots, but unfortunately the set does fall to Leona here. Oh, and uh, Zephyr decides to start the Drake on right away on his own. Uh, he's getting kind of low to finish this up, but uh, hopefully he does have the uh, health to take it without dying. So the first Drake does go over to uh, ITS. Um, the ult from the Xerath is popped and it does chunk your down to almost no health. Um, he probably should back before uh, gets caught out. Right now it is three to one. There is about um, a 1600 gold lead, which is not that big. It is something that you can come back from. Uh, we do see that the first Rift Tales of the game has spawned. I'm um, just checking over to see. All right, so New Moon was able to take the first series on oh, the same camera I have. It's just not. <laughs> um, New Moon did take a game off of Nyx. All right, fight down in bot lane again. Um, it does look like the Kaisa is opting to go for the uh, Kraken Slayer uh, versus the Static Shiv. Does have tier one boots. Boots with the fur, whatever you want to call it. Mellow starts out with Boots with the fur. Um, there's a lot of people down here in butt lane. Graves is looking for a little bit of a gank, not really able to capitalize on that, unfortunately, as they were pushed under turret. Uh, Jarvan looks like he is headed towards this. Uh, Rift Herald. Um, it looks like Azir is kind of headed down possibly towards that lane, but the ult from Ronin does come out, knocks up uh, Gorge Bush here. Uh, Loke is here doing some damage. Are they able to to uh, connect and take out the York? No, he does escape. However, Marluxia does get caught again by Element of Surprise and is shut down. That makes a 2-0 Azir. Uh, the cleanse was blown by Kaisa in the bot lane as I... See that the Ash Arrow was used. The Ash is catching up in CS though. Is actually has um, a slight lead over the Kaisa. I don't think it's uh, too much that matters in the early game as I do know that you know both ADCs are able to farm easily. Zeppa attempts to start this Herald but is met by uh, both of the jungler and top laner of Pictor. And uh, I'm going to say that the first Herald is going to go over to the Jarvan. Where he will drop it will be very interesting. Uh, Graves picks up the Yumo's Ghost Blade as first item. Now, I'm kind of hoping to see the jungler on Pictor pick up a Spear of Sojin. That would be kind of crazy as I have seen it played yesterday and it was absolutely insane. So... Um, it looks like the Maiden has been summoned up here in top lane. Marluxi is taking, again, some serious poke damage from this Azir. 
and uh, Ronan is starting to see what these ghouls uh, are made of in uh, in top lane. So Jarvan is looking bot side for a possible gank here. Uh, Kaisa does use her E for a speed up. Um, the stun comes out from. Oh my gosh, so much is coming out. Element of Surprise is down a bot lane f with the use of the teleport and is able to shut down the Jarvan. Um, very uh, interesting play here. Um, definitely not against it, but um, was able to shut down Jarvan before he was able to drop the Herald, which is kind of uh, Im <clears throat> important because if they want to keep those turrets, then they got to keep shutting the Jarvan down. But uh, we do have the second drape coming up in about 45 seconds. It is an infernal drake. Um, there is a bit of a gap in the CS department. Uh, I'm not able to do it. I don't have an overlay, but it's on the bottom of the screen. Um, or on the title of the stream. I don't have overlays though. If I had an overlay for an in-game, I would totally use it. But the scoreboard currently is 5-1. to one. There is um, a massive cold lead here. Uh, this is zero is, uh, is very big, so they might want to consider either taking it or banning it next uh, game. Hopefully the jungler will be awake and we can give those three bands a back to Pictor. Mellow is caught out here uh, in the middle. Does the ult to get away. However, the stun comes out from Leona. The flash is used, but so is the Leona ult. So that does take out dear Mellow there. All right. Uh, second Drake of the game does go over to I T S and uh, it looks like Zeppa might be caught out here trying to take the jungle of uh, Pictor here. Uh, Graves is shut down by the Kaisa. Uh, Boop Boop Cat is getting extremely low. Uh, the flag and drag is used by the Jarvan but is not able to take out the uh, Leona and there is so much fighting going on. Kais is able to take out Leona. Um, Mello does use the W to try and um, knock them down. However, they are getting dangerously loaded with, due to the empowered uh, Q of the Ash. And that is a 4-4-2 four, four, trade. So looking a little rough on the side of, uh, of Pictor with a 4k gold difference. However, I have seen people come back from worse so they just kind of need to start uh you know placing vision down there is a there's a little slight difference in um vision but really it's there's a lot of um cs difference going on harold has dropped top lane very interesting uh to pick here i would have opted for more of a maybe like mid or bot so that they could escort it. Leona is roaming mid to get some vision and maybe collapse on this uh, Zareth here. He's been bullied all game. Poor Zareth. <laughs> um, the Rift Herald is able to connect and takes out most of tier one. However, it does still stay standing. Uh, Zeppa is uh, uh, ganking top lane. The Orin ult does come out and uh, does knock up both um, Graves and uh, Yorick. However, Hey, here is Leona. Le <laughs> or not Leona, that is uh, Azir, my bad. Marluxia was able to shut down the Yorick. Uh, the Kaisa did get taken out, unfortunately. There are lots of bounties across the map here. We've got 150 in jungle, 150 in mid, and 250 in the bot lane. Uh, it does look like this turret is going to fall mellow. Do not try and stop it, my friend. Um, I know that we want to save these these turrets. However, it sometimes it's just not we're not able to do that. So, um, Harluxia seems to be in a little bit of trouble again. Uh, there he's about forty CS down. 
I don't really know how the matchup between Azir and Xerath works. All I know is that I can't hit the Q or any of my abilities on Xerath, and I have no idea how to control that ultimate. If you ask Jaeger, he can tell you all about it. Um, I'm trying to see how Pictor gets back into this, as it is 13 to 5 right now. Um, I think that they should be looking for the second Herald, but I know it's going to be challenged by the side of ITS. They're not going to let these uh, these guys get anything for free. So uh, The engage from Azir does knock up the uh, jungler here, and Graves is able to take out the Jarvan. This is insane. This is just a constant back and forth, back and forth. Um, I have played with Zeppa a few times. He's an amazing player um, and definitely showing up tonight. So I'm kind of uh, hoping to have a fun series. It's uh, definitely exciting and uh, filled with uh, lots of fighting. The tier one in top lane is hanging on by literally an auto attack. Um, Ronan Duke is holding his own. He did opt to go the Radiant Virtue as uh, his item. Uh, Ash was able to take out Mellow on set here. It's a little scary. Um, it looks like Element of Surprise, which is Azir, was getting close to going down. Az oh, Zareth was able to shut down that Ash that did have a bounty on them. Great play there. Um, tier 1 and 2 was taken with the Herald that was picked up by ITS here. Is slowly pushing its way into the base of Pictor. This is looking a little um, sad for Pictor as uh, they are going to lose that inhib if they do not protect it. We do have the uh, third Drake of the game, which looks to be Ocean. And it looks like that's going to go over to I. Yes. These guys are just um, very objective focused. Um, we see that Kaisa did opt to go the uh, Novori Quick Blades build. I'm a little confused on the Ash build as she built the Kraken Slayer into IE. It's uh, something I have not seen yet, but again, I know everyone's got different builds. Um, unfortunately, Xerath is going to fall um, to the graves here. Uh, the Azir takes out Mellow. There is a lot going on. This is a 20-minute Baron that is spawning in about 15 seconds. And it's looking like ITS is looking for this Baron to, in hopes of possibly wrapping up a game to be a quick first game. Let's see if Pictor can contest it at all. I would like to see them be able to. I know that it's tough playing with someone that you're e-subbing and not used to playing with, so I'm kind of hoping that the jungler will show up for game at number two. Oh my goodness, so much fighting. Ash takes out the Kaisa. The Orange <laughs> shuts down Azir. The ult from the Xerath comes out, but uh, not really able to do a whole lot here um, as they did dodge those abilities. The Orn upgrades are rolling out as he did hit level 13, so he was able to upgrade his item first. This quarter good, so I don't know why my Luxia was not able to see them. All right, it's 22 to 7. Holy crap, we've got like a 12k gold lead going down. 
Um, Yorick has not built Hullbreaker, but picked up a late call, which is extremely interesting. Uh, that would be your call. There's that bomb. All right, so the base is kind of an, a little bit of a mess for the side of Pictor as they have only taken one tier one turret. All dragons have gone over uh, to ITS. All right. Game number one is uh is uh is looking like it's going in the favor of ITS here. And um I did get word that they are allowing the the bands uh to be redone by um or they're giving the bands back to uh to Pictor. There's just so much fighting, so much fighting. Uh, they did, they were able to shut down everyone. And the first uh, game does go over to ITS. So uh, we are going to go on a, a quick break to get ready for a game number two. So don't go anywhere. Um, I will be back for more shenanigans.
Hello everyone, welcome back to TPO Esports. My name is Loki, and I am casting the ITS versus Pictor. And yes, it's all Mellow's fault. So that's why we are putting in Mellow to that. Alright, so the, we're just waiting for the team to get ready. Um, normally it's Mellow that takes forever. Um, it's not Mellow's fault this time, as much as I would love to blame Mellow. It's like my favorite pastime. Blame me, Mellow. <laughs> he just noticed what I did to the Jazz Links. All right, so let's see what these guys have in store for us this time and how bad Mellow's gonna yell at me for naming it that. Uh, yes, you can play Nefiri, by the way, Mellow. All right, if you guys don't tell me when the draft is ready, I'm not going to know, so please, please, let me know. Alright, so it looks like they are ready and the bands are coming out right now. Uh, no, we have one band loss on the side of ITS. Let's see if they do any different bands this time as they do have their bands. So Graves is going to be the first band on the side of Mellow Did It. Uh, and the first band is going to be Katarina. For ITS, followed up by Ash on Pictor. 
Uh, they did ban Camille on the side of ITS. These guys, these guys just run through bans. Jeez. Y'all killing me. Alright, what are they going to ban round three on the first section? All right, they did ban Yorick. Um, listen, they, their jungler came back, so they technically don't lose any bans since they did all their rank games. It's up to the other team if they want to give. Uh, All right, so York was banned as the last one. They do first pick Hecram. And for Pictora, the first pick. I'm hoping that they are going to pick up what I'm kind of hoping. And for Pict, I was very good if they missed another First pick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat him. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna beat Mello. All right, the first pick was Echo. Um, unfortunately, Mello failed to pick Echo, so I'm gonna have to beat him after the game. All right, so Jinx was picked up on the side of Pictor. What is ITS gonna answer with? Oh no, they're not hovering Teemo, for the love of Lord. Uh, Gangplank was picked up on the side of ITS for round number two. Uh, melatonin is sleeping. Um, and Leona was locked in for support for the third pick on ITS. And let's see. What is going to be the, and they're going to opt to go with Seraphine. I am, a, I'm not opposed to Seraphine. It can be flexed both mid and support. Um, now we're going to go to the second uh, round and they're going to, they're opting to ban Azir which is very interesting. And they ban uh, Darius. And Lysandra is going to round out the bans for Pictor. And let's see what the last ban for ITS's enters together stronger. Man, I need more caffeine. They're gonna ban Nefiri? What? That's wild. We don't ban Nefiri, man. All right, what are they going to pick for? They're gonna miss another pick. Nope, they picked up the Wukong. All right, 
So we have Echo, Jinx, Seraphina, Wukong on the side of Pictor. Hecarim, GP, Leona. And... Syndra is going to be picked on the side of ITF. Syndra is going to be very, very scary as uh, she does have the ability uh, to scale once she gets those splinters of wrath and do some uh, serious damage. Um, I'm kind of looking to see what they're going to answer. The Oh, they are hovering Jin and end up do locking it in. I think the people underestimate Jinx. They still think that she's a weak ADC. She's not as weak as people do think if built correctly. Um, and if she's able to scale and get ahead, I think that um, she's able to do wonderful things. However, we do have that awful champion being hovered that um, since Jim's not here, I can say it. I call this champ Askin because I can never remember what the name is. And plus, it really tilts me to watch this. So, um, yes. We do have that champ picked for, uh, <laughs> for game number one in mid lane. Um, so let's see what these guys can uh, bring. Let's see how this is executed. I am going to get the predictions out for uh, game number two. Um, we have, um, oops, uh, I be, oops, I pushed my caps lock. I hate my life here. I be, uh, and Victoria. All right, guys, use your channel points. Get your predictions in. Who is going to take uh, game number, uh, what is this, two? And um, let's see how this comes out. Um, quick check on the other side of the, uh, the stream. On Ichi versus, or uh, New Moon versus Nyx, it's 11 to 3 in Nyx's favor, which is something that I've been kind of hoping to see. Um, so make sure that you do check it out. I will, um, I will, oops, no. this is linked for the second one if you want to have it on your other screen. So let's see how this one turns out. I'm very excited to see these teams play. I know Pictor, I know that what they can pull off. I know what they're, um, I swear to God, Jay, if you lock that in, I'll kill you. All right. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these, um, <laughs> these picks. These guys are wild. Definitely the mid lane is going to be, uh, Crazy. Uh, we do have Wukong in the top lane against a Gangplank. We have Echo against a Hecarim. Um, that one chance that Jim will let me say on stream against a Syndra. Jinx against a Jin, And then Seraphine versus Leona. Um, I think that this is just a bunch of chaos. <laughs> Um, that gang playing is going to be scary, especially if they're able to land a triple uh, barrel. Syndra with her splinters of wrath, as I mentioned earlier, um, is not going to be so much fun. Um, I'm going to be honest, though. Uh, they're going to have to be careful of uh, the uh, Akshan. I have to, like, retrain my brain not to say the other one, so... Um, with his invisibility and able to roam, I really hope I see more Luxia spinning around on like a turret somewhere. That would really make my life, actually. So, um, if you can make that happen, my Luxia, I'd be really, really happy. Um, so. All right. Make sure the predictions are <laughs> it's 1.4k to zero. Somebody give Mellow some uh, votes here. We love Mellow. And I need caffeine very badly. But I put my child to bed, so he's unable to get that for me. Unfortunate. All right. Um, Tibbers, get out of the cabinet, please. Uh, we are going to go on a spectator delay to get ready for game number two. So do not go anywhere. We will be back very, very shortly.
All right, everyone, welcome back to game number two of uh, TPO Esports. This is um, ITS versus Pictor. You see the standard uh, five point kind of start, I guess. Oopsies, let's not get that away. All right. All right, so I'm uh, not quite sure how these uh, lanes will work out. It does see that it does look like uh, there's some uh, vision placed by Pictor into the river to get some um, vision down. Uh, I'm excited for this game. I'm kind of hoping to see Pictor bring it uh, back as like I know what they're capable of, so. I just need to see them execute it. Uh, there's a little bit of dancing going on. I love when people just dance. I want to Baron Pit dance off, guys. Uh, some early uh, trade in the mid lane uh, from Syndra with uh, with those uh, cubes coming out early. Um, Marluxia did opt to start a call um, early in cage from uh, Ronan uh, Duke there. Ooh, they're using the, uh, I like the skins being used, except Melo doesn't have Seraphine skin. What on earth is this? Uh, Boop Boop Cat is taking a little bit of damage, uh, from the uh, Jinx early. I think people tend to underestimate, uh, the Jinx poke, but again, she does need to scale to get online, and I, I don't know if it's a Jinx skin or not. Um, Marluxia does engage an element of surprise that is getting them to a little bit around half health. Uh, Rotan does engage on to, uh, the gangplank, but those barrels are gonna hurt later on. All right, the clone comes out from uh, Wukong. Wukong. Um, since he was a chunk down early, he is forced to early back. However, he does have TP. Um, I did notice that uh, Marluxia did not take TP, he opted for Ignite. Um, I don't really know what the standard uh, build with that one is. I do not play that champion. Uh, Ronan Duke is getting very, very low. Hey, Ray. The fanboy is here. Gaming Pope is getting dangerously low on Jinx here. The engage from the Leona does bring out, but the first blood is going to go over to the Seraphine. Are they able to get a second kill onto the Jin? Uh, both uh, bot laners are uh, very, <laughs> or all bot laners are very low. Uh, Jinx did use the, the uh, cleanse flash. Uh, the ignite was used in that little squabble. Uh, the um, echo does come in for a gank, and Melo was able to secure the second kill. Um, that's a little crazy. Uh, Jin was able to take out the echo here. Uh, Ronan and uh, Gorge Bush is uh, a fanboy. <laughs> Um, actually, I have deemed you. Don't make me get, um, your, uh, your reader to come on here, Ray. I will literally pull her in here. Um, Syndra is doing hefty, hefty damage to, uh, to the Akshan. I have to remember to say that right. Uh, Zeppa attempts to, uh, invade the, uh, the Echo, but has to use a ghost to get out. Um, it looks, I'm still confused by that call start, but hey, I can dig it. Uh, the bot laners are both even. Unfortunately, the kills did go over to the Seraphine, which is a typical, um, I don't know, who's your, uh, 
your uh, scut writer or whatever you call it. Uh, this gangplank is uh, doing some uh, work on this uh, Wukong up top lane. That's one chip I haven't seen top lane in a long time. Uh, the engage from Le the Leona does miss. Uh, the Seraphine is doing a great job at kind of uh, poking them down, pushing them off, keep keeping them off of the Jinx. Um, it does look like Echo is coming in for a repeat gank, but so is the Hecarim. There is a Hex Tech Drake that does come up. The stun does go on to Mello, and it is looking a little crazy here. Hecarim does take out the Seraphine. Gets a double kill on to the Echo, but is kind of forced to retreat here as uh, Boop Boop Cat is getting very, very low. <laughs> um, let's... All right, back to the squabble in top lane. This is more bonking than anything, but um, oof. Marluxia is getting very, very low. Does try to engage onto the Syndra. However, she does retreat to turret. Um, I'm going to switch over and see how... Oh, um, I just checked in on the other team, and it looks like they are in the base of uh, New Moon, which is not surprising as of late. I guess, yeah, I'm impressed by how these bot laners are playing. Um, like I said, uh, people tend to underestimate Jinx, but I do think that uh, they should not do that. Uh, Jinx is <laughs> caught out here. Uh, is going to be uh, rooted by Boop Boop Get uh, and is going to fall to the Choco Puma. Uh, Seraphine is able to get the kill onto the Leona. Zephyr comes in and takes out the Echo, um, which is Menace. Um, a little scary. No one has opted to get uh, first Drake here. Which is crazy to me. Um, we do have Harold that has just spawned. It's Marluxia, not Marluxia. I'm right. I'm telling Jim. Um, the uh, Wukong is a bit behind in CS. The Hecarim does have a 300 gold bounty and engage from Ronan onto Gorge Bush does get him down to about. Half health, he's using these barrels in any attempt to get out. The flash is used as an escape here. Um, gaming uh, Pope is clearing out vision placed by the Leona. Uh, Menace is in a tough spot, has to use um, their escape here, but are they going to end up getting out? No, they do fall to the Hecarim. This Hecarim is now 4 0. Um, that's a little bit scary. So it's six to three. There's about a 15, 16K gold lead. Uh, the Hecarim's only up by about uh, five CS, not that big. Um, I think the biggest uh, CS difference is top lane, which is not a big surprise as um, Marluxia. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, the ult from the Leona does come out and uh, roots uh, the Seraphine. She's able to escape with uh, the use of her E, but falls to Jin here. This puts uh, the Jinx in a very, very uh, weird spot as she is able to get caught out if she chooses to stay. Uh, currently scoreboard is 7-3. to three. Definitely not a game to forget. All right. Uh, Jin picks up Storm Razor as first item. Uh, Syndra does pick up a Dark Seal. Has two stacks. Let's do a little bit of a. Um, she's at forty nine Splinter's Wrath right now. Not that bad. 
Uh, there's a 25 CS lead in top lane, though. That's a little scary. This uh, Gangplank is definitely something to be afraid of. Um, as he's landing his barrels pretty much perfectly. Um, ooh, the Seraphine ult comes out. Does charm the Jin. Unfortunately, they were able to walk out. The Leonie ult comes in and out comes the Jin ult that is uh, taking a lot of damage onto the members of Pictor. Uh, Mellow does get taken out by the uh, Choco Puma as Jin. Uh, Hecarim does start the Drake, but Echo and um, Marluxia are there and do turn to engage instead of taking the Drake on, which I don't know if that's is the right move, guys, as uh, Sintra rotates down and takes out uh, Echo. Uh, Ronan and Duke did fall to uh, the Bushman up top lane, and uh, he's going to get a few turret plates here. And the first Drake does go over to ITS. There is a 400 gold bounty on both the jungler and AD carry. Uh, gaming pull ops to stay, and they're at about half health now. Uh, Jin is running out of mana, though. Uh, no one has taken Herald yet. <laughs> um, we do have Baron up in like eight minutes, so they uh, they may want to try to get that objective. All right, some uh, plays down here in bot lane, but uh, it looks like they, uh, Boop Boop Cat is trying to engage onto three members of Pictor, but uh, they say no. Um, everyone's gonna do a quick back. It does look like Hecarim's looking at this um, Rift Herald. It's gonna be started by the top laner here. Um, oh, that stun from the uh, Syndra comes out. Um, the Seraphine all goes wide, unfortunately, and now if you don't get out, you're going to get hurt by those uh, Syndra Qs. Uh, the Herald is going to go over to um, ITS here. It is picked up by the Hecra. Marluxia, you're supposed to be spinning around a turret, not the, the, uh, the, the river thing. Uh, Mello attempts to clear the vision, but uh, you've got a Leona there, my friend. That's um, a little bit uh, scary. It looks like Syndra's kind of roaming down, hoping to catch out the Seraphine, but... Mm -hmm. Hecarim picks up that one feared item, which is the Spear of Sojin. Um, apparently that has been, like, uber buffed, I'm sure. Riot will find a way to nerf it, but, you know, hey, small indie company, guys. So we're at about... Uh, 13 minutes, we have one uh, kill per minute in the game. Oof, there's a, now a 30 CS lead in top lane in the favor of ITS. Um, it seems to be a fairly, uh, there's a lot of CS gaps uh, aside from the uh, bot lane. Uh, the stun from the Leona comes out. She does engage under turret onto Gaming Pope and is able to take them down. Uh, the Echo comes in are they able to take out boop boop cat no they are gonna fall to zeppa and here is the seraphine that's gonna get caught out by this hacker and the gin ult does get popped here this is just a wild game guys it does hit the seraphine who looked like she was just out of range oh, that's crazy um and we're gonna do a little bit of proxy farming <laughs> waiting for the wave to push into turret. Harold is going to be dropped in the bot lane here. Who is, that's going to secure a tier 1 turret for bot lane. Out comes the Jinx rocket and does chunk the Leona down to almost no health. She is able to escape very, very, um, with, <laughs> or with very little health. It's looking like tier 1 in mid may fall here. But uh, the members of Pictor do need to take out this Harold so it doesn't get the second charge. We have a Cloud Drake, I believe it was Cloud Drake, that's coming up in about a minute. 
Why is my chat on? I don't know, but I don't care. So, all right, we've got 550 gold bounty on Hecarim, 250 on Syndra, 600 on Jin. Whoever can shut this Jin down gets, um, why does that keep changing? I swear there's like a bug that keeps changing the, uh, the bounty from 600 to 550. I, if somebody can explain this to me, I will be forever grateful because I'll never understand it. All right. Um, the, uh, opposing stream is in pick a band phase. Uh, Jinx picks up the, um, Kraken Slayer first item. You know, as much as he's, uh, down in farm, Marloxia is holding his own in, uh, mid, but does opt to pick up the wits and first item. Seraphine does get caught out by the Cinder and is going to be taken down with the alt. That's a little crazy here. This uh, Syndra is playing very, very, very well. Uh, Ronan Duke was uh, did lose his tier one turret. Is he able to get a kill onto uh, the uh, gangplank? I'm gonna say he's in a rough spot with those barrels. Tries to flash out, unfortunately was unable to, and does die to the gangplank and engage from the Hecromon to Gaming Pope does secure that kill, and they also do secure the second Drake of the game. All right, so that was uh, Cloud. The next Drake coming up is going to be Ocean. We do have um, Harold up in about a minute and a half. Uh, 17 to four, um, I don't do math, but it's like a 9K gold lead. Looking a little scary on the side of Pictor. Um, but again, this is, it is a lower ranked team, so I am gonna give them that. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing them up against uh, New Moon, I believe that they might, if they haven't already faced them, I cannot remember what the schedule is. Uh, Mello does get caught out here and does get rooted. The Seraphine ult does come out though, and the Jinx ult does take out of the Syndra. That was a massive shutdown. Uh, this is the comeback that they need. The Akshan ult does come out, chunks the Leona down very low, but in comes Hecarim, and he is able to take out multiple members of uh, Pictor. But, um, ooh, Marluxia was able to revive the Seraphine by taking out the Hecarim. That was a big shutdown. Uh, now the only shutdown remaining is on the Jin. If it they can manage to take out this gym. This game might just turn around in Pictor's favor. Uh, Jin does pick up the Infinity Edge second item. Um, so is a little bit ahead um, gold wise. Uh, they just will not <laughs> leave Menace alone in the top lane. Um, Marluxio, that was a great play with the alt to kind of uh, revive your teammate. I know we gotta take care of Mello here. Um, Boop Boop Cat is by themselves, uh, but Mello does get caught out by the Syndra and the Leona and is going to fall to the Leona. Dear Mello, poor Mello. We love Mello. Uh, oof. That is an insane Syndra ult to take out Gaming Pope. I don't think you need to ult there, buddy, but you know, hey, I can dig it. The turret is going to fall in mid lane. That's tier two down. Lots of damage onto Ronan Duke. The ult from the Jin comes out. Is he able to finish Ronan Duke off? He is. Uh, it does look like the Echo was trying to step in front to uh, prevent them from being taken out. However, just a little bit too late there. All right, we now have 150 gold in the mid, 700 in on the ADC, and 150 on the support. Um, support went, um, what is it, even shroud. And uh, Seraphine did get the Rylai's Crystal Scepter, which is very necessary if you're going to um, want to stun them on like every uh, E that you throw out. The Herald is picked up by ITS again. Um, is not able to take the tier two alone. Um, however, it is going to fall with uh, 
the help of Syndra. Um, Mellow does get shut down by Element of Surprise. This Syndra is doing so much damage. Roman Duke is in a tough spot here. Uh, that does give uh, a yes, double kill over to Syndra. They are now in the base of Pictor. This is crazy. Uh, that's a triple kill for uh, Syndra. It's an unofficial uh, triple kill. Um, the top laner is getting low. Is Jinx able to secure this? Yes, the kill does go over to Jinx, which is exactly what we kind of need here. However, Jin is still alive and well. We do not want that. Uh, Gangplank picks up the Navori Quick Blades, which is just going to make him crit even harder here. And uh, he's 2 2 and 8, and the top laner is 0 5 and 1. Looking a little scary. Uh, Seraphine, do not face check that blue buff. It's not worth it, my friend. Because uh, Hecarim going to run you down. Echo comes in for the hero play and saves the day. <laughs> um, I am a solo casting, so I don't know about a uh, post-interview. Because normally I'll do, I'll do an MVP vote. How's that? Um... Just a reminder, make sure that we are posting screenshots of the game and draft links after the game is complete, which I know you guys are not in Twitch chat because the game is over, so get the freak out before I beat you. Third Drake is being taken by ITS here. Um, this is give, putting them at soul point. Um, Jay is in a little bit of a... Uh, sticky situation here as uh, the stopwatch is pulled out. No stopwatch. I have a lie lied. Uh, but that is a double kill for Syndra again. We need to stop giving her these uh, these shutdowns. Uh, this is uh, it's looking a little scary for the side of Pictor here, but um, the Jinx rocket does go wide. That's unfortunate, man. Um, Jim was able to take out Jinx again, giving that just aced the side of Pictor. They are just chomping away at this, uh, at the base here. And I'm kind of, I was hoping to see a game three, but y'all denied my request here. Dear Lord, man. All right. This is looking like the beginning of the end here for, uh, Pictor as... They are down many, many members, and their nexus is hanging on by a thread. Um, very, very good game on both sides, um, both uh, Pictor and ITS. Um, you know, much love to my my Event Horizon people. Um, I miss you guys dearly. Um, ITS, it was great to see you guys play finally. Uh, you guys played very well, executed your team comp the way that you wanted to. Um, and uh, I'm going to, as requested, get the MVP vote out if I know how to do that. If not, then unfortunately it's going to have to. Ah, okay. I was kind of wondering who you were. I had no, no idea. Um, let's see. Pull. All right. And the yeah, I can spell MVP. Uh, we have Zeppa. Go and... All right. If you would like to vote for your... Oh, I don't know if I can do that, actually. Yeah, I don't know if I can do the vote, unfortunately. Oh, it did go on. Yay. All right, guys. No, I, I'm not sure that I can, I can spell. I never claimed to be a speller, man. Leave me on. Um, let's see if I can get the... Um, my client wants to work here. Hmm. 
I hate you, right? Leave me alone. All right, so we did see that the Syndra did the most damage at 28k. Um, the closest one on the imposing team would have been Jinx, which um, never downplaying that. They did a great job. So um, after this pull week uh, wraps up, Ray, I swear I'm going to set you on fire. All right. It looks like all the MVP worlds are going to boop boop cat. You know what? I'm not going to say it's a bad thing because honestly, I don't think supports get enough credit for keeping um, the 80 carries alive as uh, we do like to be a bit aggressive. But that is going to be it for me tonight. Uh, it's been a very, very long cast. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and let's all right, Boop Boop Cat did win the results. So um, that's going to be, like I said, it's going to be it for me tonight. Um, but I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. And we will be back next week for more fun and exciting um, gameplay. So uh, make sure you uh, keep an eye on the event uh, posts in the Discord. And we will see you next time.